The northwest side of the city booming and along with that the recent expansion of Wurzbach Parkway. But with the expansion comes traffic and congestion. And last night the Alamo area Metropolitan Planning Organization voted to fund improvements to Wurzbach Parkway. As Stephanie Cerner reports the money it will build a tunnel at Wurzbach and Northwest Military Highway. And while some drivers in the area welcome the relief, some say there are other streets that need to be looked at first. Nicole Charles lives off of Wurzbach Parkway and she says the traffic can get pretty bad. And there is a lot of congestion on Wurzbach Parkway here that comes from I-10 and then this complex right here, the HEB and everything like that. The Alamo Area Metropolitan Planning Organization approved $33 million that would go toward building a tunnel at the intersection of Wurzbach Parkway and Northwest Military. This proposed Wurzbach Parkway tunnel would go under Northwest Military, much like the tunnel on Medical Drive that goes under Fredericksburg Road in the Medical Center. Nicole likes the idea. So I think it'll free up um, a lot of the congestion that's going on and that happens from this high traffic area because it is growing so quickly. Dr. Willie Cantu also lives and works in the area. His office located on Northwest Military near Wurzbach Parkway. With uh, so much going on in this area with Alon Center, uh, Jewish Community Center, uh, that whole intersection there gets, gets pretty backed up. However, Dr. Cantu believes a tunnel on Northwest Military going under Wurzbach Parkway would be a better choice. And that intersection does get backed up, but it seems to get more backed up on the Northwest Military uh, side as opposed to the Wurzbach Parkway side. So doing a tunnel under uh, Northwest Military, I don't know how much that would alleviate traffic. And the plans for this intersection are still in the early stages. We're told that TxDOT still needs to go through the design phase of this project. On the city's northwest side, Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News.